Where have you been all these days? Yeah. Oh, every, every time I ask you something, you get irritated. Well, who else should I ask to know your whereabouts? Well, it's not going to solve your problems. You know exactly what I have all the time. All right? Is that going to solve your problems? No, right? No, no. Answer me, no, Gus. No. Answer me. Such fights were quite often between us. Nasia, what's the matter? I think your ex-husband's come back. I doubt it. I've just FaceTimed him at his army base in Oman. Well, well, there's a sniper in your back garden. Oh, no. I've been having problems with some men recently. Oh, yeah, well, it's such a shame your husband cheated on you. At least he was honest. No, you can never trust the man that cheats. How do you know him out there in your back garden has not been sent by your ex to bump you off? To stop paying your maintenance? He doesn't pay me anything. It's no wonder your house is tiny compared to Herman's. Don't you think we should call the police? What, to say that we live in a bigger house than you? No, to say there's a man in my back garden. Hey, we don't want the police round here. Daughter's having a house party. Have you seen how many cars are on our drive? We've trebled the rule of six. We'll have to go out there ourselves then. Just the two of us. Hey, he's got a gun! Doesn't look harm to me. What? Is my husband doing in your back garden? Probably not enough room in your house. <laughs> The public are concerned as to why it has taken so long to identify this issue. After some investigation, the police have been in contact with the former neighbours of the family who revealed that the young girl was acting out of character a few days before she went missing. More so, through medical records, the police have identified the blood of the young girl on all four bodies. This is Catherine Harris for ETV News.